loophole in the state law that is challenging what it means to say no. NBC Charlotte's Ty Chandler joins us live when we talk about consent. No means no, but not so much in the legal sense. Well, yes, Sarah, you know, it depends on when you said no. If it was after that sexual encounter began, then North Carolina does not recognize that as rape. NBC Charlotte doesn't normally identify victims of sexual assault, but this woman wants her story to be told. She was getting angry. Amy Guy says her strange husband, Jonathan, showed up to her apartment last December drunk. I thought that it would be better to go ahead and agree to the sex because I figured that was a safer thing for me to do. But Amy says things turned violent. I began crying and I asked him to please stop. She says he didn't stop. Jonathan Guy was arrested, first charged with second degree rape, but charges were then lowered to assault all because of a 1979 ruling that says a woman can't revoke consent once the sexual act has begun. You know, we fully believe Amy was raped, but the law did not help her. Corey Goldstein is the director of the Sexual Trauma Center at Safe Alliance. She says it is difficult enough for victims to come forward. This law only adds to that challenge. Knowing there is this loophole that allows someone that by our definition has raped someone to be able to use this loophole to not be held accountable for that is troubling. Senator Jeff Jackson trying to close that loophole with the Revoke Consent for Intercourse Act. We're the only state in the country where no doesn't mean no. I hope that that other women will get the protection that they need. I hope that um, you know, we can change the law. It's it's not right. Now, Amy's husband, estranged husband, Jonathan Guy, he pled guilty to assault on a female and is serving 10 years behind bars. As for Senator Jeff Jackson's bill, so far it has not gotten a hearing and it's unlikely that it will make it through this legislative session. As late as here, I'm Ty Chandler, NBC Charlotte. Well, Sarah Ty. Fred. Thank you for that report. Well, there's a lot of damage uh, to clean up following Thursday storms all over our viewing area. Trees blown over by strong winds.